Yeah, we're in uh, Ratton Bay. We're off Keyport, New Jersey. We just um, light tackle with a product called a flutter spoon. It's a real thin piece of sheet metal with a hook on the back. What we do is we go uh, 30 pound braid to a 40 pound top shot with an FG knot. And then we take Potsky fire gel and we rub the bottom of the uh, spoon. And the uh, descent and the flutter attracts the bass and the shape they look like in a second. Not ready yet. It's good for eating kind, 29 inches. We're gonna, we're gonna bleed them, throw them in the box, and make some fish tacos. Top water, he's up high. Yeah. This one could be a better fish, Kev. I'm gonna get out the way. <clears throat> well, he's gonna hit mine with a bat, because I lost his. No. <laughs> Fish. This is an awesome fish, huh? I'm using the bunker smell, the fire gel. Yeah, Marking good. Works well. Double. We got a double. Smaller one. Just want to go over what we're using today. This here is a seven foot six uh, Biscayne. It's a glass rod. Ed Carmen's a friend of mine down in Biscayne Bay, Florida. Makes fantastic products. Uh, on the reel, it's a Trinidad 12. It fits good in my hand. Caught fish up to 50 pounds on it. So I know it can handle these fish. This is 30 pound. What is this? This is a fire line to a uh, FG knot you'll see right here. So it's 100% fire line to 40 pound fluorocarbon. I'm not sure fluorocarbon is necessary in Raritan Bay because the water is a little dirty. And then we're going to a flutter spoon. This one's chartreuse with silver on the back. But the real secret is using the Potsky fire gel. It's a scent-based product, and it's gel. It does not come off. We put it on the bottom of the spoon because we handle the top so it doesn't get on your hands. And uh, it's just a phenomenal product. I'll show you how we do it. We just take a little on your finger and rub it on the bottom of the spoon. And that scent will stay on there for actually the entire day, but I do reapply it. And I'm a sloppy fisherman, so I'm always wiping my pants here. I have two German Shore Pointer Bird Dogs. The second I get home, the first thing I do is they go right to where I wipe my pants with the fire gel. So the scent's incredible. It's a better fish. Yeah. Rip them out of the water. You want to help? I'll walk them down to the back. Put the fire gel in the water. Oh, you Striped bass, Raritan Bay, Potsky fire gel on flutter spoons doesn't get any better. Light tackle, many as you want. Dude, I thought it was loose. You should get the belly. I'm hoping it's a nice striper. What does your fraud tell you? It feels good. All right. And and you I, know, feel like I got him in the mouth this time. Tell everybody the truth. How did he catch that? What just happened? I, I hooked it, handed him the rod. Well, remember, he had no fire <laughs> gel for the last That's hour true. and a half. And we put it on. No I fire gel. I changed my spoon and totally forgot to put my fire gel bunker smell on there. I just dropped it in. Slam. So. That is a true story. <gasps> What's oh, a flounder? No way. That's is that a fluke. flounder? Fluke. Look at the size of it. Dude, it's a keeper. What oh. the? That's dinner. 
Is he? Look at the size of that thing. Now look at that fluke on a striped bass trip. All thanks to fire gel. Not bad, huh? Roxy bass. Get them all day. Let's see how it works. How's it feel? Close. No cigar. He's going back. Jig. Pink. With fire gel squid. And he's going back. On squid. You're good. Well, you going back? Yeah, we see it. Going all the way back? Go ahead, I'll get out of your way. Big bass. Just when we thought we were going to see it. There it is. Oh, yeah. on a uh, slow pitch jig with the squid scent. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from the New Jersey coast here on the New Jersey, New York border in Raritan Bay. We did all of our fishing today on the New Jersey side. You can see Staten Island in the background on one way. You can see the Verrazano Bridge in the background on another section. We fish right out in front of Sandy Hook. It's in an area where it's no secret to anybody. Now, our morning started bright and early at 4.45 a.m. We left the dock and we headed up under Seabright Bridge and we picked up our good friend from Long Shot Charters at Bar's Landing. And then from there, we went out, we drove around, and really we only fished for about an hour and a half to two hours for these stripers simply because that's all we needed to do. We weren't out there to catch a hundred fish. We just wanted to catch a couple dozen to film a little episode here at Potsky Outdoors. And we were very successful doing that in the middle of lots and lots of boats. Now I'm out here today with my good friend, Kevin Meyerhoff, he's not a fishing guide, he's just a fanatic. And by fanatic, I mean he fishes literally every single day that he can. If the conditions are good, he's going out there on this beautiful boat and chasing fish. Now, I gave him samples two years ago to try of this fire gel. He had never used scent before simply because he called me and he said, Chris, I don't use scent. Every time I put it on there, it's a liquid, it just washes off and it doesn't really do me any good. I said, do me a favor, try this fire gel, let me know. It doesn't come off. The scent stays on there forever. And he called me. He goes, I got news for you. That stuff is the real deal. I said, well, what are you, what are you basing that on? He goes, well, I'll tell you one thing. I put the scent on my lure. Sometimes I touch my pants. When I come home, my two dogs are hunting dogs. Their nose gravitates right to where I touched my pants. Sometimes two, three days later, that scent is still there. Guess what? The stripers, they smell the same thing. And on a day like today, we didn't use any bait. All the boats around us were either using flutter spoons like we did or bunker. They weren't catching as many fish as we were. Whether it's coincidental or not, our plan worked. And we came out here today with mostly bunker fire gel here in Raritan Bay and caught a lot of fish. We kept some of them to eat. We released other ones. And the guys that are with us had a great time. Now, we also went offshore when we were done filming this episode. The guys wanted to go after black sea bass. You know, we went around Sandy Hook and went right out in the middle of the ocean. And sure enough, our old friend from Long Shot Charters put some squid fire gel on one of his jigs. And as soon as he did, he caught a massive striper right away, which you can see we put back and put out there for you guys to catch up. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.